Marcus Mentrek cranks open the roof of the Oberly Observatory like he does every Friday and Saturday night. The main attraction, the 25-inch reflecting telescope. People are impressed with what they can see. Now this time of year, the best thing to look at is Jupiter. It's just hanging right up there as soon as the sun goes down. It's an amazing view. Some are non-believers. Oh, it's got to be fake. There's got to be a picture of that, right? You, there's just something about your mind that doesn't believe that, you know, the light coming into your skull is actually bounced off of that planet far away. But there it is, just like in the pictures. This new $2.5 million observatory park has over 1,100 acres, making it the largest in the Geauga Park District. It offers astronomy and then some. A lunar park to understand the phases of the moon, one of two dozen seismometers in Ohio, weather stations, and a one-mile loop walk on the planetary trail. There are these markers placed out where you can go from planet to planet. It shows you just how uh, proportionally the planets are spaced out in the actual solar system. Just shrunk down to a nice convenient one mile. Certified as a silver level dark park makes this one of only six in the country and nine in the world. They tend to be in remote locations, but this park is unique being it's close to a major metropolitan area. It's a little disorienting when you first arrive and it's completely dark and then you'll notice the only lights that are here are about waist high and they're red. So it feels a little bit like you've walked onto some kind of supervillain set. This is the ideal spot for the upcoming total lunar eclipse. The darkness brings families back yearly for the Perseid meteor showers in August. People are just amazed at just how dark it gets, even though we're only like 32 miles from the middle of Cleveland. And they're like, wow, I just, I never knew that you could look up and see these things. For times when you can't see those things because of the weather, just go next door to the Robert McCullough Science Center's planetarium. And that's what we can offer on cloudy nights or every Sunday afternoon. And that's a good chance to catch up on what's going on in the sky and you can kind of rehearse what you should be looking for in the week. It's a really great resource to have. They plan a $2 million expansion to the astronomical station abandoned by Case Western Reserve 15 years ago. It's only a quarter mile walk away. It's what's inside that will put this park over the top. What we're really excited about there is there's an even bigger telescope inside. There's a 36 inch wide, enormous telescope. They plan to have it open in two years. On your side in Montville, Rich Geyser, News Channel 5.